have you ever wondered where you would have been right now if men were God? I mean, what your situation would have been right now if men were God? You know, sometimes when I meditate on this, I really give God the glory. I have every reason and cause to say thank you, Jesus, that men are not God. And that should be what you should be doing. Because, my dear, if men were God, <laughs> oof, it wouldn't have been easy. That's just the truth. If men were God, there are so many things that would have happened. But most importantly, these three things. Number one, you would have been history. Yeah. Trust me, you wouldn't you would have been dead by now because whether you like it or yet to so believe me, there are some people that when they see you, they feel oh, I wish their eyes would turn to a gun so that they can shoot you down. As if they feel, why are you here? Why are you alive? They are not happy. If men were God, believe me, some people would have removed you from planet Earth. You would have been gone by now. But glory to God that men are not God. Because it's only God that have and has, or whatever way you can put it, it's only God that can decide when we are going. Number two, if men were God, <laughs> most of us would not be where we are right now. I mean, the good things you're enjoying right now, the, that work you're doing right now, those contract you've won, those beautiful things you're enjoying, if you're married, you're, you know, that you're married, you wouldn't have been married. You wouldn't have been, if, see, if men were God, believe me, there are so many things that you're enjoying right now. There are so many places you're right now that you wouldn't have been in or been right now if men were God. You know why? Because men also, or men like to judge physically, they judge from the physical. They don't look inwards. It's only God that understands us. It's only God that knows you, knows your heart, knows the, the contents of your heart, knows your intentions. It's only God that blesses us accordingly. If men were God, there are so many blessings of God you're enjoying right now that you, you can't buy. You can't, you can't even reach, reach. You can't enjoy because they will judge you based on your physical appearance. They will judge you based on how much you have. They will judge, judge you based on how much connection you got and all that. Trust me, sister. If men were God, most of you, most of us wouldn't have been married right now. If men were God, most of us would have been enjoying so many things we're enjoying right now because people would judge a bit of how much does she have, how much does he have? Who is she? What does she, what qualities does she possess? What, what physical attributes does she have? You know, so many things. And that gets me <laughs> laughing most times. You know why? Because I'm happy. I'm always happy when I remember that men are not God. God does these things the way he likes. He is no man. He works in a mysterious way. He blesses who he wants to bless. He causes who he wants to cause. He answers who he wants to answer. He, men are not God. He does his things the way he wants. And thirdly, if men were God, believe me, so many of us wouldn't have been forgiven. You know, there are so many things you might have done in your life in past that you were forgiven. Uh, or God forgave you and, you know, gave you another clean slate, slate to start afresh. Believe me, you know, so many of us wouldn't have been forgiven if men were God because they would count. How can I forgive this person? See, I'm not saying it's easy for us to forgive because when people hurt you, if you have not gone through hurt, you know, when people hurt you, you will know that forgiving is, 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 is hard. To forgive is hard. To forgive is very hard. If men were actually God, you will understand that to forgive people is difficult. It's difficult to forgive people. You know, when people can hurt you, they can, especially people you trust so much, people you can verge for, people you, 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 you depend on, if they hurt you, if they do some crazy things or say some crazy things about you, you feel like, oh God, is this the end of the world? But thank God they are not God. If men were God, people won't forgive easily. Or people, as if those people wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have been forgiven. But I can't see the reason why we shouldn't forgive. Let's look at it this way. We sin against God and God forgives us. If somebody that has hurt you comes to realize that he or she is wrong and then comes and does the right thing, do the necessary confessions, put things straight, where the person needs to amend, amend, do some amendments, you know, do some corre uh, corrections, um, confess some things and put relationships that he or she has, um, 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 you know, scattered, right? Then why wouldn't you forgive the person? We are not God. If people do things right, why wouldn't you forgive? Why would you feel like deputy Jesus? Why would, why would you feel like you cannot forgive? I will not forgive you. Ah, hello. But God forgives us. So therefore, my dear, you need to be grateful to God every day of your life, every minute of your life, that men are not God. Because if men were God, the story wouldn't have been what it is right now. So keep appreciating God. Keep praising Him that He is not a man. Don't forget to like and share. And please subscribe. Press that. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. God bless you.